Hey, what's up guys? Tell me about the ingredients. So today I'm gonna show you how to get the cinematic settings for the Canon 200D. And I had a lot of requests about this, so you guys wanna see how you can get an amazing color grading, uh, cinematic look, all that on the Canon 200D. Today I'm gonna show you how to do all this. Besides from that, a couple things that you need to know. What I'm gonna show you today is how you're gonna get your cinematic settings, how you're gonna set up a unique color profile, how you're gonna do your white balance, and how you're gonna color grade. I'm just gonna do a little bit of color grading, color grading that I'm gonna show you guys and I hope this is gonna help you. So this is what you guys asked for and today I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so before we jump into that, I just wanna let you guys know that I've created a Facebook group where you guys can just unroll yourself in there, it's free. I'm gonna share with you guys free knowledge and the link is down below. So I'm gonna share free knowledge, I'm gonna share lights and I'm also working on light that I'll be selling right on my website that you can use for DSLR, especially entry level because you see it's really hard to get this kind of look that you can see on my videos if you go on my Instagram you see the kind of look that I'm creating using an entry level camera so it's really hard and I decided just to make light that for you guys that you can buy and if I had to make it for free you, you see when she's giving free stuff people don't, people don't really give the value into that so I just decided to put a little bit of fees into that so you guys can buy and use it for your project and all that. And this light really gonna help you guys to increase your value in your production with any kind of camera that you're using. All right guys, so without wasting any time, I'm gonna show you, first of all, we're gonna start with the setting. All right guys, I'm just gonna put a camera in this position so you guys can see what I'm, what I'm doing. And I'm also gonna show you the kind of setting that you guys can just use. I feel like this is really easy for me to really show you guys the settings that you're gonna use. All right, let's say for example, you wanna show 24 frames per second, which can really give you a natural low for motion blur and all that. And I'm also gonna show you how you're gonna do for slow motion. And uh, before and after that, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna upscale the footage to 4K so you can have that uh, sharpness image that you guys are looking for, all right? So what you're gonna do, first of all, you're gonna click right here. You're gonna click on the, on the menu. And then you're gonna scroll down to 25 frames. On this camera wall, you have 25 frames. And if you change it, you're gonna get 30 frames per second. You're gonna choose 25, 25 frames, and you're gonna go back. And so once you choose 25 frames per second, which means you need to bring down your shutter speed at 50, you just double the amount of 25 frames, and then you have the amount that you need to shoot in. And also, if you're using a good lens like the lens that I have, it's a 50 millimeters, you can actually bring it down. And it's gonna give you those the, those nice motion blur in there, and we're also gonna get a nice bokeh for that. And keep in mind, you also need just to pay attention to your eyes, so don't bring it too high or too low. Just keep it average. It's gonna help you when you're doing your color grading. All right, so these are the settings that you guys can use just to create that cinematic look. So also, if you wanna shoot, uh, if you wanna create slow motion video, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna change the settings, right? So you're gonna click on the menu and then you're gonna go 60 frames per second right here we have 50 so you can also change that and you're gonna have 60. let me just show you quick how you can have uh, 60 frames per second on this camera so you're gonna look for the camera for the video settings i think it's somewhere yeah let's just scroll scroll up yeah there we go so you're gonna change to ntsc once you change that and you go back to your video settings you click right there and you can see we have 60 frames per second all right so once you have 60 frames per second you need to change your shutter speed so your shutter speed is going to be 125 that is close to 100 and uh, 120 so 125 that's really close to 60 frames per second all right and then keep in mind also once you increase your shutter speed you're going to have a dark image so also increase your oh you increase your iso as well all right, so guys, now we're gonna get to the good thing which you guys wanna know how you're gonna color grade your footage. What I'm sure is really one of my, my main skills that I really use to help me do any color grading that you can do on this uh, DSLR camera. You can use this on any DSLR camera, especially for our uh, entry level camera. All right, so you're gonna click on the menu. So now we're gonna create our own preset. We're gonna create our own preset. Um, just hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me just maybe bring it close a bit. All right. So we're gonna create our own preset. So you're gonna go to the picture profile, picture profile, and then you can choose any of these. Let's just go to this one because I've seen. It seems like I've used all of it. the first and the second, the third. So the third one is free. So you're gonna click over there, and then you're gonna click to info, 
click right there info so you're gonna bring the sharpness to zero this is the strength you're gonna bring the contrast to zero and now you're also gonna bring the saturation to zero as well and the color tone you're gonna just increase it one to help you have a good skin tone whenever you're doing color grading and don't forget this on the picture style you're gonna choose neutral you're gonna choose neutral and this picture profile it's really gonna help you to get amazing color grading I'm, I'm also gonna have this done in the group I'm gonna put all the screenshots that I'm showing you guys so you guys can just go Facebook group where you're gonna get all this stuff for you guys if you don't really catch them up quick here all right all right guys there you have it i've shown you how you can get the cinematic settings on the canon 200d or 250. so now we want to jump in the computer and i'm going to show you how you can also just upscale your footage to the 4k but if you're using the 4k on the on the canon 200d it's going to give a little bit of uh difficulties especially when you're doing or uh, when you're shooting 4k and in the next video i'm also going to show you how you're going to really get that on point without having any trouble using the focus straight from the camera you don't want to have any issue with the your focus and all that i'm going to show you that in the next video so right i'm just going to jump into the video i'm going to show you how you're going to upscale your footage and we're going to do a little bit of color grading so that you can have all the good stuff that you guys are looking for all right all right guys there you have it so we in the video resolve now and you can see before and after before and after what i've just done just and this was shot in full hd not 4k but if you can zoom you see that you have good details just in there and it's really looking good all right so we're gonna go to the color tab and i also bring this down i just want to show you quick what you can do all right and this is all my color grading stuff that i have here uh, we're just gonna go step by step and i'm gonna show you guys how you're just gonna create all this but i'm just gonna bring it down so number one thing that i always do whenever i have my color grading is and just keep this in mind this is just another method that i'm gonna show you guys how you can also just color grade this kind of footage that you film from entry-level camera all right so i always use a color space transform they just pretend as if this was shot on a on a black magic all right let's just pretend this was shot on a black magic it's no entry-level camera and all that you can just do whatever you want and you don't have to stick to whatever people are telling you on social media just keep this in mind if you don't have the high-end cameras professional cameras just this is just a way that you can just uh, cheat out these things and really gonna help you all right so what i did on the color what i did on the input color space you come to black magic design form change one and you're gonna click on that and then if you come on the black magic uh, design 4k uh, 4.6k film you click on that and if you come on the black magic on the um, black magic y gamer once you click on that as well and then let me just reset this so i can show you guys what you're gonna get all right so i'm gonna come on the color space transform i click on that all right and so let's just look for that all right, you're gonna click on this one. This is what you get. Let me just try another one. I think this one look better for me. The 4K one look better. And then on the input color gamer, um, on the input gamer, what you're gonna do, you're gonna scroll down, scroll down, and this is the one that I use. And don't be afraid once your image is just getting blown out and all that. And on this note, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go on the Davin's uh, Black Magic Davin's White Gamer. You're gonna choose that one. So check this out. On the output gamer, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to Sinyon Film Light. Boom, there we go. You fixed it. And this is really amazing. So another thing that you need to do, you need to apply a lights on this uh, on this color transform that you have done. Most of people will tell you that you need to bring this to red 79 you can also bring this to red 79 you're good to go there's nothing wrong with that this is the red 79 because you need your output cam to just be uh to look similar to all the the, the video people want to watch on social media so you can leave it this and on red 79 or use go so you can just can go back to whatever that you want if you want to keep it in the cinema in a cinema kind of filter that you're seeing right now i'm just gonna go back to the red 79 all right let me just leave it the way it is you can keep red 79 this just showcase how you can actually calibrate your footage all right so this is the light that i've applied you can find this light right in the video so you're gonna click light and then you're gonna go for film look all right 
you can just reset this. You can reset that. You can choose anyone that you have in here. And I'm just gonna take um, this. I'm gonna take this one, right? I'm gonna take this one and just put it down here. Or you can just double click there you go and this is what you're getting it's really bad because what we're using now are not lock we're just using raw which are 8 bits so you're gonna have this kind of issues so what you're gonna do you're gonna have to bring this down just bring the size down a little bit and i think there we go and then what you're gonna do now we just need to fix the eyelet and a little bit of that so you're gonna use the curves so on the curves, what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna reset my curves, all right? So you're gonna bring your curves just a little bit down and also play a little bit of the shadows. Also bring down the, the highlights. If you can check in the, uh, the highlight, you're just gonna bring it down as well. And you're also gonna bring up just a little bit of, the, gonna bring it up a little bit, bring down, Okay, so this is before and after, before and after. All right, once you're done with that, then you're gonna go to the look. I always just bring my creating this kind of way. So you're gonna create your first look, all right? Oh, this is just a mess. Let me just fix that. All right, here you go. So you're gonna create your look. And what I did, I just add a little bit of warming. As you can see there, just bring it a little bit. And also add a little bit of uh, saturation, and this is just my U and saturate my U my U and saturation as well. Uh, I'm just gonna go here, yeah, show you guys. Just bring this down a little bit. You can see just to fix the highlight. All right, just gonna bring this down a little bit, and then this is just bring down the noise. Just come down here, and I'm just gonna fix a little bit, and then you can go better, and they just bring down the fresh or just remove all the nodes. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see that before and after it's fixed. And then what I did just to just bring this image up a little bit more, much better. I also add a little bit of sharpness. We have our sharpness down, you just bring this size a little bit. And I also add a little bit of film grain. Add a little bit of film grain. This is the uh, film converter that you can also download. I just love the film grain that it gives. So this really helps me to have a little bit of uh, foam grain in there. You can see it's really nice. And also add a little bit of glow in there just to bring out my exposure. I just add a little bit of gain and then came into that. Just bring it a little bit. You can see what I'm getting just to create that warm look. And this is just to add a little bit of, uh, just to fix my, my white and black. Just come down here. If you bring all the way down, you see what you're getting, you're creating that kind of dark look in there. And this is looking good. Alright guys, there you have it. I've shown you how you can do my color grading just a little bit because if you don't want to dive into that. Because I have other tutorials right on my YouTube channel that can really help you guys just to get all this look. Alright guys, and also don't forget to check out the Facebook group that I created to just help you guys. And you're gonna get a lot of stuff that I'll be sharing right in that group, which you're not gonna see on, on YouTube or my Instagram. And all the color grading skills, I'm just going to also be sharing those skills right on the group that I've created on Facebook. And I hope this tutorial really helped you. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave any comment. If there's anything that you guys didn't understand, I'm really happy. I'll be happy to help you guys and to just go back and try to make you guys understand so you can create good image. Don't lose hope. Whatever camera you're using, you can also just bring anything good out of there. So... And I also just I just want to mention the last thing is I'm also creating light that I'll be selling right on my on my so on my website that you guys can buy. It's really gonna help you to create a beautiful image. So without wasting any time, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace, peace, bye bye. Oh wait, <laughs> wait. I'm working on a short film that I'm gonna put on my YouTube channel. That is gonna be on a Saturday or Sunday. So please guys just check out the video, leave any comment down there that can really help me to also grow as a person. And yeah, that's it. Stay blessed. Bye.